All right, so this is part two, the standard two-digit uh, multiplication algorithm, except this time we are going to be adding regrouping. So this time we're going to start with the number 75 times 36, and when we multiply that using the standard algorithm, we're going to have two-digit answers and we're going to have to regroup. But before I show you that, I'd like to show you the order in which you multiply when you're doing this, because that gets a little confusing when you're first learning this algorithm. Um, just like we do with addition, we're going to start with the numbers in the ones column. We're really starting with the six, and we're going to multiply six times five first. After that, we're going to multiply six times seven. That'll take care of the number in the six, the number in the ones column. Then we're going to multiply the number in the tens column by the two above numbers in the same order. So next would be... 3 times 5, and then 3 times 7. That's the four multiplying you have to do with a two-digit multiplication problem. Which means we're going to start by multiplying the 6 times the 5. And you should just be thinking in your head, 6 times 5, that equals 30. And so really, remember, we can expand that or think of it as 3 tens and 0 ones. So when we write down our answer, when we regroup, we're going to write the 3 above the tens column, and we're going to write the 0 in the ones column down below as our answer. So the answer is still 30, but it's being broken up into 3 tens and 0 ones. Just like we did when we added, but if we added, 5 and 6 would be 11, we would have carried a 1 and brought down the 1, right? Same thing. We're going to get bigger numbers, though, because now we're multiplying. And now that we have our first answer, we took care of the 6 times 5, now we're going to do 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. But remember, you have to add the three tens that we carried, because really we're multiplying 6 times 70, right? Just like we did before with the expanded algorithm. So 6 times 7 plus 3 is 45, because 6 times 7 is 42. 42 plus 3 is 45. And that's really what you want to think in your head. 6 times 7, 42 plus 3, 45 which we'll write down below just like we did before. So, 6 times 75 is 450. And now we're ready to multiply 75 times 3. But before we do, we're going to write a 0 down below our first answer in the 1's column because we're not really multiplying 75 times 3. We're multiplying 75 times 30. And whatever the answer is to 75 times 3, it's going to end in a 0. So the second step, put a zero down, and then you will begin to multiply. Which means now we can go ahead and multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. So just think about that in your head. And write that total down, except we're going to have to still multiply 3 times 7, so we're going to break apart the 15 into the one group of hundreds and five groups of tens, and write a 1, and a 5. So really when you're doing 15, it's still like it's a group of 10 and 5 ones. Once you've written that down, then you can do 3 times 7. So think 3 times 7. What is that? 21. Don't forget the 1 that we carried. So really the expression is 3 times 7 plus 1, 22. Which we'll write down right in front of the 5 that we got earlier from the 15. So our answer for 30 times 75 is 2,250. Even though we, in our minds we only thought 75 times 3. Because we wrote down that 0 to begin with, that's our final answer. 4, 75 times 3. Now we have two partial products. We have 75 times 6 and we have 75 times 30. Those two partial products we're going to add together for our final answer to get the final product for 75 times 36 which can get a little confusing when you're trying to add it up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just recopying the problem over here. It's still the same problem. Um, but this is a cleaner way for me to show it to you. And then at the end, I'll show you what it would look like if you were solving it all on the same piece of paper and in the original algorithm. So when we're adding, 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carrier 1, just like we've always done when we've added. Write the 0 down below. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, and then 2. So the final answer is 2,700. How does that look when you write it in the original algorithm? 
So when you add up the problems as you are completing the multiplication problem, the only thing that gets really messy now is the 0 plus 0 in the 1's column was still 10, and we're still 0, right? And the 5 plus 5 is 10. And what gets a little tricky is where to put that 1. How are we going to write this? Um, before, you would write it a little bit over to the left and right above, which it might get in, interfered with the time symbol over here. It gets a little hard to see. I made it green so you could see it. Um, I would recommend putting it down as close as you can to the 4, right above it as much as you can, no matter what the digit is, so you can remember when you're adding to line up all these three that in this case are in the hundreds column. That's the only tricky part about this. It gets a little jumbled sometimes when you're regrouping your numbers and remembering to add them. But it still gets us the same answer as we did before, meaning 75 times 36 is 2,700. That's all there is to it.